If you have an interest in personal injury claims or if you have an in interest in how the awards are arrived at and how much money, how much compensation is dished out for various personal injury claims or if you're considering bringing a personal injury claim or if you have an existing personal injury claim and you're wondering whether to accept the offer or assessment or not. A recent decision there from the Supreme Court is of huge significance. The Supreme Court in the case involving a lady from Waterford called Bridget Delaney confirms that an appeal against the compensation guidelines as set out in the Judicial Council personal injury guidelines has been lost. The decision basically means that the Judicial Council approved guidelines which have slashed minor injury compensation awards are legally binding and are perfectly constitutional. Any changes in those guidelines will require legislation. The judge, uh, seven judge court, delivered five different judgments. Basically, they said the decision would have an ongoing effect on thousands of personal injury cases yet to come before the courts and multiples of that into the future. And the case is thus of systemic importance. So this particular case involved Bridget Delaney. She lost her appeal in a case concerning a fall on a footpath in Dungarvan in Waterford in 2019. She fractured her ankle and she made a claim to the Personal Injuries Assessment Board. Between the uh, incident and the uh, Injuries Board assessment of her case's damages value, the Judicial Council approved new guidelines for personal injury damages that replaced the Book of Quantum on the 6th of March 2021. This is absolutely key. The Book of Quantum, which was in place since 2004, basically guided judges in uh, what they should award based on their own previous decision and decisions in similar cases. The new guidelines, the new Judicial Council guide guidelines replaced the Book of Quantum and it basically slashed uh, injury claims, damages or awards. So this resulted in much lower damages in most injury claims. This lady then claimed that her constitutional rights had been impugned because tight guidelines limited the discretion of judges to award her fair compensation. The Injuries Board then uh, assessed the damages for her injury at €3,000, whereas the Book of Quantum would have delivered a multiple of this sum. So under the new system, she's awarded €3,000. Under the old system, she would have got significantly more than this. And she challenged this and brought a case which ultimately ended up with the Supreme Court. She asked the High Court in the first instance to quash the Injuries Board assessment decision. But the judge there ruled that the Judicial Council was entitled to set guidelines. The Supreme Court decision then upheld the original award, meaning that the current guidelines will remain in force with a statutory obligation to a cost of living review every three years subject to Judicial Council consideration. It is understood that amendments may be proposed after the current review and obviously the amendments would be to reflect the cost of living increase, inflation and so on. But the decision by the Supreme Court is groundbreaking and the majority decision establishes the guidelines as legally binding. So departures are permissible, permissible only where there's no reasonable proportion between the guidelines and the damages awarded. The ruling, with significant implications for the future assessment of damages, marked a pivotal moment in the realm of personal injury law. So, bottom line is, these judicial guidelines, which you'll be able to find online, and I'll actually put a link to them underneath this video on my YouTube channel, you will see the personal injuries guidelines which were adopted by the Judicial Council of Ireland or the Judicial Council on the 6th of March 2021 and it breaks down the various injuries, injuries relating in foreshortened life expectancy, injuries involving paralysis, head injuries, psychiatric damage, injuries affecting the senses, injuries to internal organs, orthopaedic injuries, 
chronic pain, facial injuries, non-facial scarring and burns, damage to hair, dermatitis and other skin conditions. You might have an accident, you might have an injury arising from it, perhaps a workplace accident or a car crash or something of that nature, and you might be wondering what your claim is worth. If you look at these Judicial Council guidelines, it'll give you a very good indication of what your claim is worth. And just to put it in context, I'm going to have a look here just at the psychiatric injuries, the psychiatric damage which can arise just as one particular example to focus in on and I'm just bringing it up there now on the screen, psychiatric damage. So it's important for judges in all courts to remember that not all damage warrants an award of compensation. The, in the absence of physical injury, recovery is permitted only in respect of recognisable psychiatric injury. For example, upset, distress, grief, disappointment and humiliation do not affect or do not attract compensation rather. So there are severe, various categories then, there's severe psychiatric damage, there is serious psychiatric damage, there's moderate psychiatric damage, there's minor psychiatric damage. To put it in context, severe psychiatric damage would attract compensation of between 80,000 euros and 170,000 euros, whereas minor psychiatric damage will attract between 500 euros and 15,000 euros. Then you've got post-traumatic stress disorder and that will again range from severe PTSD to minor PTSD. Minor PTSD will uh, attract compensation of between 500 euros and 10,000 whereas severe PTSD will attract a payment of 60,000 to 120,000. The key thing is that a lot of pressure has come on person injury awards and the, these judicial council guidelines have reduced the amount, uh, the quantum of awards across the board. The old book of quantum would have given you X, but these new Judicial Council guidelines adopted in March 2021 will give you X less a significant percentage. But they are available online, you'll be able to find them. Uh, they're called Personal Injuries Guidelines from the Judicial Council, adopted by the Judicial Council on the 6th of March 2021. So there you go. I'll put a link underneath if I remember on my YouTube channel to these guidelines but if I don't remember, if I forget, which is a possibility, then all you have to do is Google them and you'll find them. If you find this video useful, I'd appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up down below and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel. If you're listening to this on my podcast, the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast, then I would appreciate if you left a review on Spotify or on iTunes or wherever you might listen to your podcasts. Thank you very much.